everyone. I'm Dr. Ekta Bhushan, teaching anatomy and physiology of exercise, sports medicine and exercise prescription at Indira Gandhi Institute of Physical Education and Sports Sciences, University of Delhi. I welcome you all to online lectures of CEC UGC. In this series, we will discuss different topics associated with sports medicine. But today in particular, we will discuss the topic massage. Let's start this topic with history of massage. So archaeological evidence of the different types of massage and the various techniques that encompass them uh, has been found in many ancient civilizations including China, India, Japan, Korea, Egypt, Rome, Greece and uh, Mesopotamia. Massage is perhaps one of the oldest form of healing therapy practiced uh, on the human body. Dating as far back as 2700 BC, ancient Eastern uh, Chinese cultures practice massage uh, to heal a variety of ailment from labor pain to paralysis. Ancient Egyptian tombs have been discovered adorned with images of figures uh, being massaged. In addition, according to traditional Indian medicine, therapeutic massage was performed using a variety of aromatherapy oils and spices for their healing properties. So, uh, even famous Greek and Roman figures such as the great Julius Caesar uh, underwent uh, daily massages to treat nerve pain. The word massage comes from the French massage means a uh, friction of kneading. Arabic massa means to, uh, to touch, feel or handle. And Latin massa means mass or dough. Greek verb to handle, touch, to work with the hands or to knead dough. So the history of massage therapy dates back to 3000 BC in India where it was considered a scared system of natural healing used by Hindus in Ayurveda, life, health, medicine. Massage therapy was a practice passed down uh, through generations to heal injuries, uh, relieve pain and prevent and cure illness. Promoters of Ayurveda believe that illness and disease are caused when people are out of sync with the environment. Massage is believed to restore the body's natural and physical balance so that it can heal naturally. As culture and history evolved, the healing methods of massage traveled to China and Southeast Asia about 2700 BC. China, Chinese massage methods developed as a combination of skills and practices of traditional Chinese medicines, martial arts and the spiritual yoga training uh, of Buddha, Buddhist and Taoist, their methods were very similar to those of the Indians based on the belief that disease was caused by an imbalance of deficiency of energy of various pathways. The, in the ancient Chinese developed a, Chine uh, a text called the Yellow Imperial's classic book of internal medicine that is today considered a staple of massage therapy, alternative medicines, acupuncture, acupressure or herbal remedies. So by 2500 BC, massage therapy had made uh, its way to Egypt also, where it was uh, deposited in to uh, tombs, painting, the Egyptian added their own bodywork techniques and are credited with developing reflexology uh, which involves applying a pressure to specific points or zones on the feet and hands to affect healing. Later, monks uh, studying Buddhism in China 
brought massage therapy to Japan in uh, 1000 BC and put their own twist on it, calling it Enma, later known as Shiatsu. This technique is designed to regulate and strengthen organs by rebalancing energy levels through the stimulation of pressure points in hopes of uh, bringing natural resistance to illness. And in the early 1800 uh, century, Swedish doctor, gymnast, teacher, Per Hendrik Link created a method that become known as the Swedish movement cure to help relieve chronic pain. As, as much medical gymnastics uh, as massage therapy, it was the precursor uh, to what we know as Swedish massage, a style that involves stroking, pressing, squeezing and striking. The demand for messieurs and messieuses increased in the early 90s. By the 1930s, Swedish massage has evolved and the physiotherapist who used it in regular medicines helped massage therapy to become a ligament and respectable uh, form of medicine. So, once physical therapy was licensed in the year 1950, massage therapy had its own category. Between 1970 and 2000, massage therapy experienced a transformation as people choose to live healthier lifestyle and preferred more holistic approaches to healthcare, pain management and restoring, uh, maintaining healthy bodies. Today, many realize that massage is a good medicine. Now, let's have a look on uh, types or uh, different types uh, and techniques of massages. The first technique is uh, effleurage. So, derived from the French word effleur, meaning to skin over, effleurage can be deep or superficial depending on variation of pressure. A stroke movement performed with the whole uh, palm surface of the hand with fingers together. Contouring the area, hands may be alternatively or both together. The movement must be smooth and rhythmical. Following the courses of the venous and lymphatic vessels from distal to proximal ends. Ending wherever possible at a group of lymph glands, all pressure is towards the heart. So, decreasing on its return journey away from the heart, used to commence link and complete manipulation of the area. The contact should remain intact until the final removal of the heart which should be so gradual as it is impestible. So, the effect of effleurage, uh, effleurage technique increase the arterial, venous and lymphatic flow, uh, discomates uh, dead skins, improve skin texture and induce relaxation. Now, the second one is uh, petrisage. So, these are compression movements performed with the pads of the thumbs and or fingers. Uh, intermittent pressure is applied firmly and then relaxed before moving to an adjacent area without losing contact. Surface tissues uh, are squeezed and against underlying bone. The pressure depending on the bulk and type of tissues presents. It performed over muscle. It usually travel from insertion to origin. The effect of this type of massage is compressions caused filling and 
emptying of blood vessels muscles are relaxed as waste products are removed skin and muscles adhesions are loosened and accumulated fluid around joints eliminated the next type is kneading massage so a compression movement performed with the entire palmar surface of one or both hands the degree of pressure is dependent on the bulk and type of tissue present there are several different types of kneading but all pick up or squeeze the tissue much like the kneading or bread dough so the effect of kneading is increase the blood it increases increases the uh, arterial venous and lymphatic flow nourishing the are uh, discongesting tense muscles and relaxed and toned the next type of massage is stimulating massage and it can be carried out using either one or both hands and either whole palm or just the fingertips palms of hands fingertips are placed on the muscle and with firm contact moved briskly up and down or from side to side helps releases pain and tension can be soothing or stimulating depending on the desired results it can literally surprise the muscle into releasing the tension the next massage is hacking so a sharp rapid movement performed with elbow bend and arms away from the body the fingers are relaxed and facing each other striking the area alternately uh, only used on area or of su- sufficient bulk and avoid uh, bony prominences so and the effect of hacking is stimulating to nerve fibers and blood flow resulting in tingling warmth uh, so raising the metabolism and toning the muscles the next uh, type of massage is cupping so as with all uh, percussion uh, percussion movement the wrist uh, must be flexed and with the palm surface drawn into the cup like this and which alternately strike the body drawing uh, flesh towards uh, flesh upward towards the vacuum in do uh, in so doing a distinctive clip clapping sound is made sufficient bulk must be present the effect of cupping is the tissue are stimulated to cause arrhythmia and rise in temperature softening fa- fatty tissues increasing nourishment to the area and decongesting the next one is the chopping method so the fast tapping whipping movement performing with the fingertips over sufficient bulk on delicate areas such as the face uh, effects of uh, this movement technique is stimulate stimulation is given to the vascular network creating arrhythmia congestion is removed uh, and glandular activity is increased and skin textures improves the next segment is the physiological effect of massage so the first physiological effect of massage we will see on skeleton system so massage can uh, increase uh, can help increase joint mobility by reducing any thickness of the connective tissue and helping to release restrictions in the fascia it helps to free adhesions break down scar tissues and decrease inflammation as a result it can help to restore range of motion to stiff joints massage improves muscle tone and balance reducing the physical stress uh, place uh, placed on the bones and joints now the effect of massage on muscular system 
सो मसाज रिलीव मस्कुलर टाइटनेस स्टिफनेस स्पैजम एंड रिस्ट्रिक्शन इन द मसल टिश्यू इट इंक्रीजेज अ फ्लेक्सीबिलिटी इन द मसल ड्यू टू मस्कुलर रिलैक्सेशन इट इंक्रीजेज ब्लड सर्कुलेशन ब्रिंगिंग मोर ऑक्सीजन एंड न्यूट्रिय इन टू द मसल दिस रिड्यूस मसल फटीक एंड सोरनेस इट प्रमोट्स रैपिड मूवमेंट ऑफ टॉक्सिन्स एंड वेस्ट प्रोडक्ट्स फ्रॉम द मसल्स नाउ द इफेक्ट ऑफ मसाज ऑन द कार्डियोवास्कुलर सिस्टम सो इट इंप्रूव सर्कुलेशन बाय मैकेनिकली असिस्टिंग द वीनियस फ्लो of blood back to the heart dilate blood vessels helping them to work more efficiently produce an enhanced blood flow delivery of uh, fresh oxygen nutrients to the tissues is improved and the removal of waste product toxins and carbon dioxide is hastened by the venous system help uh, temporarily Uh, to decrease blood pressure due to dilation of capillaries decrease the heart rate due to relaxation and reduce uh, ischemia uh, is a reduction of the flow of blood uh, to body parts often marked by the pain and tissue dysfunction now we'll see the effects of massage on lymphatic system so it reduces edema Uh, the excess fluid in the tissue by increasing lymphatic uh, drainage and the removal of the waste from the system then a uh, regular massage may help to strengthen the immune system due to increase white blood uh, white blood cells now the next one is the effect on uh, immune system so the 45 minutes massage have uh, been shown to increase the number of lymphocytes uh, which are very important white blood cells uh, that defend the body from disease, uh, diseases because massage reduces cortisol level a stress hormone uh, the reduced stress in turn leads to a healthier immune system improves the body's ability to nourish the most important areas now the effect of massage on nervous system so uh, massage stimulates sensory receptors this can either stimulate or soothe nerve depending on the uh, technique you uh, techniques used it also stimulates the parasympathetic nervous system helps promote relaxation and reduction of stress then massage helps to reduce pain by the release of endorphins that is a happy hormone now the effect of massage on uh, integumentary system so it improves the circulation to the skin increased nutrition to the cell uh, encouraging cell generation increase production of sweat from the sweat glands then vasodilation of the surface capillary capillaries helping to improve the skin color improve elasticity of the skin then increase sebum production the next one is the respiratory system so massage depends uh, depends respiration and uh, deepens the respiration and improves lung capacity by relaxing and a uh, tightness of the respiratory muscles it also slows down the rate of respiration due to the reduced stimulation of the sympathetic nervous system then digestive system in, it increase uh, peristalsis uh, in the large intestine helping to relieve constipation and colic and gases promote the activities of the parasympathetic nervous system which stimulates the digestion and then reproduction system in some cases pregnant women have experienced shorter less difficult labor massage can reduce pms associated in anxiety and depression a uh, regular massage can reduce pregnancy related fluid retentions now on the endocrine system 
it improves circulation in the endocrine system which helps to aid in hormone transport boosts the immune system uh, as a result of hormones that produce lymphocytes and has a balancing effect of ans by normalizing endocrine activities now a uh, major uh, there are other major physical benefits of massage also which are increase in blood and lymph circulation reduce stress anxiety pain through the relaxation and normalization of the soft tissues improve skin color and elasticity improved breathing reduce and relieve constipation improved urination increase self awareness and self esteem increase fertility now we have come to the conclusion so massage therapy is used to help manage a health a health condition or enhance wellness it involves manipulation uh, manipulating the soft tissues of the body massage has been practiced in most cultures both eastern and western throughout human history and was one of the earliest tools that people used to try to relieve pain now i hope you understood um, about uh, massage therapy its history different techniques and physiological and physical benefits of massage that's all for today see you next time thank you